<laughs> Help! Huh? That was very unfair. It was on that very day when Crash was getting ready to sample a new crop of carrots that his tooth became loose. And what if his tooth fell out for good? Who can I call to help? Who would be the person to turn to for advice if not Pig, a gear expert? Well, um, if we look at the root cause, his tooth appears to be quite loose. Oh, yeah. Definitely loose. No! I suspect that the tooth will, um, uh, well, fall out soon. Of course it will fall out. In time, all things break. Aw, can't you just push it back in? Why don't you go and give Olga a visit, eh? Hey? I believe that she can fix teeth. Oh, God, please, not that! Wait a second. I've got it. Look, if there isn't a place where the tooth can fall out into, it will just, what, fall in. I'm saying that you should turn me upside down. My tooth will have to fall out backwards. And so it'll just grow back. Aha! An interesting hypothesis we have here. The tooth falls in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, pretty great. Uh, oh! Wow! Oh. Crash, are you okay? You fell pretty hard back there. Uh, I'm all right, just trying it out. <laughs> In fact, I think everyone should start walking on their ears. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, Crash, uh, your tooth, it sort of fell out. Huh? What? Is that my tooth? <sighs> ha! I know what to do. The tooth can be glued. I have super glue. Just don't eat for a while after. But what about carrots? Sorry, but no. Munching on carrots is a bad idea. No, I can't do that. So why not go to Olga's uh, after all? They say she can fix your teeth. You'll feel no pain. And what do you think? I'll try to do something different. Aha! It seems I found just the right thing. Here, put them on. Huh? <laughs> Look at those choppers. <laughs> Not so bad. That'll do it. Well, I gotta say, it looks a little odd to me. <laughs> well, it's time for me to go. Well, so, oh, you can eat all the carrots you want. Not a bad deal. But Pen, I... Uh, at first, Crash kind of liked his new teeth. His friends began to look at him in a new way. With respect. Sort of. But later on, everything began to change for the worse. Crash? Is that you? No, I'm not here. I hear you. Come out, Crash. Ah, you're playing a game, huh? And you're playing without me again. Stop hiding now! Enough is enough! I'm about to get mad! Hi, Rosa. It's me. Oh, oh. oh Rosa, what's wrong? It's just me, Crash. Ah, don't you dare bite me! Half buddy vampire! And it was at that point that Crash realized he would lead a lonely life. With only the night and the moon to keep him company. Ah! But then again, if he could gather the courage to go over to Olga's and have his teeth looked at... So... Tell me where it hurts, huh? <laughs> ah, <laughs> more of a dull pain or a stabbing one? Uh huh. Has it been hurting long? Uh huh. Hmm. Well, an F minus. You deserve an F minus for such behavior. Don't you know when your teeth are in pain, you can't wait? <laughs> Patient, mm -hmm. if you please, open wide. Oh, come on, what is the meaning of this? Outrageous! 
Come on now. Open your mouth. I'm only going to look. That's it. Right now. White teeth. <laughs> good. Very, very good. What is that? I'll bet you were really scared, eh? It's nothing. Congratulations. Your teeth are completely healthy. Ah, uh, but I lost my tooth. You lost your baby tooth, silly. <laughs> and now you have a molar coming in there. <laughs> That's why your gum is hurting. I'll make an herbal mouthwash. <laughs> Rinse very well three times a day. <laughs> and your pain's all gone. <laughs> and at that point, Crash felt okay to smile and realized that missing a tooth made it much easier to whistle. So, you nervous about the race? No way. Why should I be nervous? <laughs> Makes sense. No reason to worry if you haven't got a chance. On your marks? Get set? <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd give him a head start. It's the nice thing to do after all. Gotta even the playing field for these poor chumps. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Looking good, Wally. Not a bad gait for someone with four left hooves. Nice weather we're having, huh? Well, I should be off. Later, Wall. Good determination. You'll look good with that silver medal soon. See you at the finish line. Oh, come on! <laughs> Easy. All hail your champion, the unbeatable. Unbeatable? Yes! Yeah. 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 Bravo! Yeah. Bravo! 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 Holy carrots! How is it possible? It can't be true! Hedgehogs can't outrun rabbits! Wait a sec. Uh. Nope, still awake. <laughs> On your marks? So, you nervous about the race? No. Why would I be nervous? <laughs> no. Chico's been cheating. Best friend, want to try a round of ping pong? Hey, uh, you're not bad at this. Almost like you're a completely new hedgehog. Why, thank you. Oh, surely you have some kind of secret. I sure do. Which is? A special diet. I knew it. What do you eat? I eat the competition, smoked rabbit. Get it? Ha, good one. Hey, I'm just joking. Everyone loses sometimes. No, it's not the losing I mind. I like playing fairly, without any cheating mechanisms. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, I know you wanted to beat me bad. I'm pretty impressive. So badly you wanted to turn to nefarious methods. I get it. But that kind of trick? That's some pretty shady stuff. It's not right to keep secrets like that from friends. I didn't realize. Do you want some? What? For me? Are you crazy? No way, no! I am a champion! Hmm. Fine, don't admit that you have a problem, but know this! You can't fool everyone else. Hmm. Nothing like a smear campaign to let everyone know who the real winner is. I'll show everyone he's a fraud. This is for your own good, Chico. Those who win races should be the fastest and fastest alone, not the best at cheating. Dangerous energy drinks should.
should be banned, Indeed. especially in good, honest spaces. Yes. And if anyone here has a problem, we won't shame him. Yes. Well, maybe just a little bit. I mean, we'll trip him up with a title and give it to me, but no shaming. Just admit it. Yeah, he's right, I think. The culprit, please confess. Mm hmm. Holy carrots, you really don't know who I'm talking about? Him! It's Chico cheating! Look at him! He's drinking it as we speak! Huh? Huh? Um, this is a carton of milk. Wanna see? Mm hmm. He's right. It's 1% milk. So what's the other 99%? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, Chico. I just wanted to win so bad. <sighs> Chico, I never should have accused you like that. Even though I still don't understand what's in the other 99% of milk. Do you forgive me? Please say you do. Don't worry, friend. It's all fine. And it's kind of like a trick. Uh, how's that? One could say you were almost right. No, no, well, no. Well, no. milk is so full of nutrients, it can help you win. It's full of protein, which helps build muscle mass, and helps make your body stronger and stuff. And, uh, uh, well, uh, it has uh, vitamins and minerals, uh, and it's healthy. So uh, it's kind of like a magic potion. You oh. think so? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got you to admit it, you sneaky cheater. You used the protein and milk to get superpowered. I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> Why do we need a robot again? Why? Because it'll do all our chores for us. Do you like doing housework? No. Well, it will do all our housework for us. It will do the dishes, the dusting, the mopping, the laundry. So you think Pin might have already built one? Of course he built one, because it's a great idea. I would have built one myself, but as you know, that's not my thing. I'm more into being brainy. Pin! Hmm. Could he be sleeping? really weird. When I come to surprise him, he's never here. Uh, you know, where does he go when he's not with us? Uh, uh, you see that on the wall there? Something here is not right. I think we should... Uh, crash? Crash? What could this be? It's clear to me. What? How can it look clear to you? It looks like a bunch of weird marks on the ground. It's clear. Pin's been kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped by Martians! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
It's me. Who else would it be? Bien, I thought you were a Martian, like the one running around in your yard as we speak. Nope, that's not a Martian. It's more of a mechanical nanny that I built for you. You know, someone to take care of you. But it turns out that it's too caring, aggressively caring. But you should still take it. Just don't mention I'm in here. No, let me go. I don't want that. No! That's just Chico. Don't let me go. Chico? Please! Let me go! Stop! No, I don't want it! I'm not hungry! No! You and I have to rescue him! There is no way he can take much more! I told you I'm not a baby! I don't need a diaper! Hey! Hired babysitter! I'm a baby! Don't you want to take care of me? Thank you very much. Our plan works perfectly. <laughs> This is the end for us. The battery ran out. It's the end for her. <laughs> She's out of commission. Keep it like that. I still don't like housework, but I don't like robots either. You know, I've been thinking that maybe we don't need a robot. Aren't we able to do everything ourselves? Well, of course we can. We might not like to cook or clean, but robots can be a lot of work, too. You need to change their oil, change their batteries, and if they get a glitch... Then who knows what'll happen? It's true! Well, my friends, as they say, all is well that ends well. <laughs> Step on it, will ya? We haven't got a moment to lose, Crash. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. <sighs> oh. 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 Okay, ready now? Clear! <laughs> One more time! Clear! I think we're losing him! One, two, clear! One, two, clear! One, two, clear! <laughs> well, that certainly was a close one, wasn't it? <sighs> Just as I thought. Too much honey again. I'm sorry, fellas. It happens every time. I just can't seem to control myself, can I? <laughs> I tell myself, just have a little, a wee pawful, if you will. But then before I know it, I've had a whole jug and then another one. <laughs> I try so hard to say no, but it's so yummy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> So, no more honey for you. That's great. Much obliged. From now on, I'm cutting way back. Uh, uh, I see you're taking the key with you. Are you sure you don't want to leave it? Oh. 
Yeah, I think I might have a problem. All right, now. Since our recent solution of isolating the honey from the patient proved unsuccessful, we have no choice but to isolate the patient. Uh, uh, hmm? uh. From now on, the patient will follow a strict schedule. It's the only way to help him. Open this door! Uh. I'm endowed with inalienable rights! I don't know what that means, but I sure as heck am going to find out. Now, you let me out of here or else... You hear me? Huh? I'm sorry. This problem calls for drastic measures. I'll give you drastic. Now open this door! Let me out! Let me out! There once was a bear named Barry who ate too much honey one day. The good doctor came, and much to his shame, he locked poor old Barry away, away. Hey, Warden! I'm starving here. Um, lunch is in an hour. Um, hmm? <laughs> halt! Who's there? Wally, I promised Barry I'd stop by today. Mm, got honey? No, I'm clean. Make it short. Uh -huh. The sheep has crossed over the meadow. The passageway's finished. I dug it out with a spoon. I hit it. The bear enters the cave when the moon is full. Could you be more specific? About 7.40. 7.40 p.m. Got it. And you'll be waiting in the garden? I'll be there. Thanks, Wally. Gotta go. Got some last-minute preparations. <laughs> hmm. Are you there? Hmm? I'm here. Uh, Wally, I'm stuck in a hole. I, I can't get out. Just keep calm and take a deep breath. You're safe. The coast is clear. Wait, forgot something. <laughs> Barry, wait up. Where are you going? <laughs> Wally, I'm journeying to a distant land. A land where no door is bolted, no soul is bound, where a man may live free. Take me with you. Take me with you. Come with me, Wally, and we'll create a world where no man is shackled by the chains of society, where no man is imprisoned in darkness, where a guy can have as much honey as he wants, when he wants, and nobody can tell him otherwise. <laughs> Wally, I did it again. Are you okay? Oh. Barry, what is it? Oh, Wally, the honey. I think I ate too fast. Oh, the cruel hand of fate. I can't go on. Get help. This could be the end of me. Help! Help! Someone help! Emergency! Emergency! Oh, no. What's this? Why are you playing such sad music? Barry may be sick, but it's not the end. Please, now is not the time to be morbid. I beg you to lighten it up. <laughs> uh, ah, thank you so much. That's a lot better. Help! Help someone! <laughs> Well, Chico, it looks like we cleaned it all up. Yes, looks like we have. All right. I wonder... Where will all of our garbage float to? Does it really matter? The important thing is, it'll end up far away from our beach. The sea is huge! 
Bon voyage, trash! Holy carrots! There's something really weird out there! And it looks like it's headed right for us. Carlin! C Carlin! 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 Uh, what? Is the sky falling? Alien invasion? What's happening? Hey, Earth to Carlin! Take a look over there! Poach my egg. Yep, that's bad. Mm. Mm. Some kind of industrial waste. Well, congratulations. We've got ourselves an environmental catastrophe. But where did it come from? Do you think... Well, some bird brain dumped it in the ocean. Industrial waste, eh? Then Pin must be the culprit. I can't believe you thought I'd do something like that. You think I don't know how bad it is for the ocean to have industrial waste dumped into it? Our ocean is ruined. It's just so horrible. Then someone else dumped the chemicals? Some awful person dumped it in, then the spill floated to our beach. We have to clean it up as fast as we can before it turns our shoreline into a tar pit. <clears throat> Phew. This is our 15th full bathtub of slime. Carlin, how you doing? There's no end to this icky swill. It's like the noxious thing's getting bigger faster than we can get it out of there. I'm afraid that Carlin's right. It keeps getting bigger. Last! Where on earth is this stuff coming from? Down there somewhere. Come and take a look. But where did it come from? Someone's been dumping it here for a very long time. Telling themselves the sea is big. A few barrels couldn't possibly hurt the whole ocean. Who would do such a lousy thing? If this dusty stuff keeps on leaking out of all those barrels, before much longer our beautiful lagoon is going to look like a big shoe polish can. Can we fix this? Wake up, Mr. Brain! Now think! Hmm? Eureka! I've got it! When I was young, I fell in love with a feather duster! Hey, look out here! The channel's all clear ahead! But the duster was betrothed to a bellow. Uh, so where are you planning to put all that terrible stuff? We are going to get rid of it! But how? With fire! It's burning pretty well! Good riddance! Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Do you think that we'll find it? Of course we will. The sea seems bigger than it is, but we'll find it. Dude, look! In reality, the sea is small enough that nothing disappears in it without leaving a trace. 
Well, who'd like some more milk? I, I do. do. <laughs> disgusting. Come on, Crash. How do you know milk is disgusting? <laughs> You've never even tried it. You don't have to try something gross and disgusting to know it's gross and disgusting. Rosa hates caterpillars. You don't see her trying to eat one. <coughs> There's nothing disgusting about it. <laughs> and it's very healthy. Take it from me. Why should I? How do you know it's healthy? Hmm. Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? Everybody knows that? But how do they know? I mean, where are the facts? Where are the findings? Where's the research? Where's the solid proof, huh? Does anybody know who's really benefited from it? How do we know it's not some big scam? Absolutely preposterous. My intuition tells me it's a rip-off, hmm. and my intuition's never failed me. Like that time you tried to prove that poison ivy wasn't poison? Or when we went to the pond that day and you tried to prove that snapping turtles don't really snap? Or that time you tried to disprove concussions and you got one? <laughs> All right, I'll make you a bet. Is it a deal? I'll bet you a carrot. A special investigative report. Is the milk we drink every day a cool, delicious, bone-building beverage that's great with a plate of chocolate chip cookies? Or is it secretly a poison? We intend to find out on Investigation Crash. So, I intend to drink a glass of whole milk every day for the next week while closely monitoring my general health and well-being. This will not be easy for me, <laughs> but I will do it in the interest of science. You mean in the interest of carrots? <laughs> we'll edit that out in post. Where was I? <laughs> and now, my first glass of milk. I'm not sure what will happen after this courageous experiment, but we'll know soon enough. Uh. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, pal, it's called a cliffhanger. Welcome to day three of our investigative report. Still no idea what its effects are. Is it building strong bones, or is it slowly gnawing away at my insides? Mmm, <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Give me another one of these, will ya? Cause now it's time to test the effects of my coordination. Can we cut that one out? That was just a bad throw. Well, here we are on day 10. We're in the laboratory. We're about to see if the milk has had any effect. Inhale. Huh? Exhale. Well, there has been no deterioration of health that I can see. And as a matter of fact, if anything, there's been a bit of improvement since last time. That's impossible. <laughs> we interrupt our investigative report to bring you this breaking story. Would you mind telling our viewers exactly what happened to you? Do I have to? We still rolling? Spill it. Uh, well, um, I, uh, um, yeah. I, I climbed up on a shelf to grab some ink and, okay, right. uh, and then I slipped. Uh, yeah. And then a bottle fell off the shelf and hit me on the <laughs> on the head. And can you tell our viewers what was in that bottle? Well, it was milk. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> it was milk. Proof no. that milk is not only disgusting but a leading cause of life-threatening head injuries. But that's not really. It's an inconvenient truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Wally's injury is but one illustration of the dangerous effects of milk on an unsuspecting public. And if there are still any doubts as to its deleterious effects, I am here by increasing my dosage of Satan syrup to two cartons a day. And please remember, I am a professional. This 
is a farce. When are you going to admit that you like it? There's nothing disgusting about it, and it's good for you. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I've got more pop in my hop. Maybe I've grown a little. But how do I know these aren't the initial symptoms of some horrible disease? Shoot it yourself. I'm finished. I'm going to have some milk. Chocolate. <laughs> Cool! Investigation crash day 12. We're continuing our investigative report into the effects of milk on the body. But we're taking it in a different direction. Our incisive report is now about its positive effects. And just like always, your old faithful reporter is dedicated to the truth. My dear Rosa, I'll bet you can't guess what the birthday present is that we're going to give you today. I'm going to guess that it's something sweet. Because that's the way life is. Sooner or later, all sweet things stop being sweet. So you have to keep giving people sweet things over and over. Don't worry. You won't have to worry about finding something sweet. In fact, you'll never have to worry again. <laughs> <laughs> That's because this present is the type of present that never stops giving. To make our Rosa's life so sweet as if she were a queen, we thought we'd give a candy treat, a chocolate machine. And it works on perpetual motion. Lift it, please. Yeah. One moment. Are you ready? Here it comes! Voila! A chocolate bar! It can't be! It's just a dream! The dream of my life! All the chocolate I could ever eat! Today's the first day of the rest of my life! And what a life it'll be! Ah! <laughs> Instructions! Aren't you gonna get sick? No, I'll never feel sick again. Cause now I can have as much chocolate as I want. And then for dessert, I'll have more. Five, no, ten, no, a hundred. As much as is piggly possible. I'll make everything out of chocolate. A table out of chocolate. A chair out of chocolate. If I get hungry, I'll eat the table. I'll even make a chocolate house, too! Whee! The entire world will be made out of chocolate! Yes! I'm in shock. In shock. I'm in shock. In shock. I'm in shock. In shock. Shocky, 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 shock. I'm in shock. Feel that? Huh? Uh, check. <laughs> Looks like a landslide. Is it a volcano? We have to dig out. <laughs> what kind of disaster is this? I'm in shock. Hey! Hey, 
you doing, guys? Oh, these caves are fascinating to look at here in this volcanic lava. Mm, this isn't lava. Yeah, it's chocolate. <gasps> it's from the chocolate machine, then? The one that never stops. That's it. We need to get out of here. Why do you think that it's dripping? It's the sun. The chocolate's melting. I'm too young to drown in chocolate. Someone get us out of here. Oh, please. I see a light. It's all over for us. <laughs> hey, you in the hole. Grab the rope. It's okay. Not to worry. We'll look for Rosa and save this little piggy. There she is. Rosa! <laughs> Chocolate. You can push up now. Oh, where are you taking me? Oh, boy. I think I might have eaten a bit too much. Oh, what is happening with my life? <laughs> my greatest dreams finally came true. But, but I don't think I can digest them. Everything in moderation, my dear. Moderation. Everything's in chocolate. <laughs> It's all your fault. Let's go for a nice walk. How about a walk? Look what happened. Where are we now? Nobody knows. I wanted to walk near home. It's your fault. I've already walked there and over there, too. Boring. Thanks to you, we're in the middle of nowhere now. Does nowhere even have a middle? Oh, I'm going to die of hunger! Oh, great. I told you not to touch anything, Wally. I'm not touching anything. Is there anybody here? We are lost. Touch it. It's probably past its expiration date. But I'm hungry. <sighs> oh boy. I could really go for a big piece of chocolate cake right about now. And a nice hot cup of tea. <gasps> oh. Huh? Also send us home? Uh-huh. Yeah. Go home. Why am I itching so much? No. <gasps> Wally! Whoa. We're home! He did Woo it! <laughs> There's my son. <laughs> Here's my grass. Oh, wow. Actually, How I nice. think you're the one that did it, Wally. It's when you scratched your head and said, go home. <laughs> Ah. Uh, coffee. Ah. 
With sugar. <sighs> Extra sugar. Rainbow. Eight of them. Some bird singing Mozart, if you please. Classical music, my dear. Huh. Well, aren't there newer ones? Just scratch somewhere else. But why? I finally have the power to make this world a much better place. And prettier. Uh, more fair. And kinder. Ha! Huh. Prettier, more fair, kinder. Looks like this! Uh, no. Snowy white's not charcoal black. Charcoal black's not snowy white. Turning right's not turning left. And turning left's not turning right. Something round's not something snort. Something snort's not something short. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. Something dark's not something light. Something rude's not something nice. And if a dish is burning hot, it means that it's not made of ice. When a man is bald up there, he doesn't have long golden hair. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. They cut us like a knife to bits. All these crazy opposites. But you cannot hide or flee. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. A thousand safety measures will not cut the probability. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal Let's return things to the way they used to be and never change anything again. But let's agree that never means never. And if we want to change something, we first have to ask each other for permission. Agreed. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to the way, way it was. was. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to the way, way it was. was. Everything goes, goes back, back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Maybe our itch just doesn't itch anymore. All scratched out. I could go for an apple. Mm. Huh? Masquerade. What's the point of a masquerade? Who thought this one up? I could see if we were criminals, then we'd have to hide our faces. <sighs> wow, that actually looks pretty good now that I see it on. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to see what everyone else is coming up with. Ow! Ow! Mm. I'm telling you, no one's gonna know who we are in these robot costumes. They're gonna think we're being invaded by aliens or something. <laughs> They'll all be terrified. But then, Crash, Chico, we'll all be. You win first place for those costumes. <laughs> oh, Chico, really? Do you know how much time I spend making that? <laughs> I don't think this is the right costume for me. Just be patient. You need to bond with it. Hey, listen. We should go and spy on the other costumes so we can see how much better ours are. <laughs> but I can't wear a rabbit costume because the minute Crash shows up, we'll have rabbits everywhere. It'll confuse everybody. That's the whole point, Mary. Crash is going to show up wearing an entirely different costume. It wouldn't make sense for him to go as a rabbit. Even so, don't you think I should be a football player or a, a lumberjack? A rabbit's just a little too cute and fuzzy. You're going to fool everyone. They're going to say, aww. 
He looks like a real rabbit. Taco, how do you do it? <laughs> mm. At least you're not dressing up as an alien. That's the most overdone costume ever. Plus, then you'd have to spend the entire night explaining to everyone what you're supposed to be. Um, I was just wondering, how are people going to know that I'm an alien? <laughs> well, I guess you could always hold a sign. That'd do it, right? Well, then what's the point in having costumes in the first place if we have to hold signs saying Alien 1 and Alien 2? Yes! I figured it out! The best idea ever! We'll go as Taco and Barry, and let them go as me! Our costumes will be epic! We'll look more like the two of them than they do! Every hair in place! Um. It's fine. There, that's perfect now. Uh, it's a bit awkward. Wasn't the whole idea that our costumes would look really good? Oh, well, I mean, Barry's my friend, but this isn't an attractive costume. I, I just think that maybe we could find something prettier. <laughs> I've got it! I know what I'm going to be! I've got it! I've got it! So what are you going to be? Did you decide? Oh, I've decided all right. <laughs> and here we are. Perfect. You're making me go as a demented bunny rabbit, then whip that out for yourself? That's professional quality. Yeah, you definitely got the better end of the stick. <sighs> I'm not making you do anything. Go find your own costume. But I'm ready to go. Hm. Almost there. Just wait till they see us. I can't wait to see their faces. Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an original idea. That's a lovely shade of nail polish. This is just like a dream I had once. It's a lovely shade of nail polish. Bring water. Wally! Wally! What's wrong with you? I'm fine. Just a little warm. This costume is great, but the fabric doesn't really breathe that well. Great costumes, everybody. Chico, you gotta come with me right now. Let's go.
That was... That was amazing, Crash. Incredible. How... How did you do it? <laughs> well, uh, do you remember? Last fall, I stored away all my best carrots. Well, guess what? They got frostbitten. The whole box. Bitten by frost. The carrots, uh, they're all gone. <laughs> when I saw that, I just about totally lost it. Then I remembered what you said to me, and I realized that I need to express my grief on the ice. So I came running to you, and then I... It's okay, Crash. <laughs> you did great, really. This isn't the end. <sighs> Actually, it's just the beginning. So, you ready? Chico, I'm not feeling anything at all. What do you mean? Okay, listen. Think about your box of frostbitten carrots. Uh, how much can a rabbit grieve over it anyway? I've accepted that loss. I've moved on. Don't move yet. You can move later. But I already know that I have. No, Chico. I can't and won't do it. I don't have the emotion in me. You know? No! I'm switching to the triathlon. It's my only hope. I'm so useless. I'm not lazy, but I just can't do it. This is... this is so horrible. Just horrible. Oh. Mm. <laughs> This was the best routine I have ever seen in my entire life. He's filled with despair. Oh, it's too bad he can never repeat it again. <clears throat> he can't? So those were his real emotions? What about artistic expression? No, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that won't do at all. We need artistic expression. Ha <laughs> ha!